Hey guys, it's me, Jeremiah. Again, everyone's favorite Falcon Wolf Sun God Prince person. So guys, this is my Jeremiah cosplay again. Oh, let me just lock the exposure thing. Otherwise, it'll keep going dark. What the hell is going on with my suit? This is like my sort of like sexy, sort of edgy Jeremiah look. Because <laughs> Jeremiah wears his suit and it's like, oh, I'm wearing tights and like over the knee socks and shorts, <laughs> which are going all weird. <laughs> I need some new ones. I need some smaller ones because these are too, too big for me. They're all baggy. So my stand is working, it's moving. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is, right, this is my 100 subscribers special video. I'm not sure if that's a thing, or it's specifically like, oh my thousand subscribers, or oh my million subscribers. I've never, like, I don't know for sure if, if people, if YouTubers do that, where they do a special 100 subscribers video but I'm doing it anyway if it's not a thing already I'm doing it but I've actually got 101 since then since what day was it no it was two days ago I should I specifically shared my channel with a, a specific guy and he said oh I'll be your 100 subscribers and then I saw that, but then since I've got one more subscriber, so now it is 101 technically. But this is celebrating my 100 subscribers. Hooray! My wings are being annoying. Why is this one all weird? Is it the wind or is it just annoying? Anyway, let's do the usual rant video then hmm. so i'm doing a series of my life as you know a my life one and i'd be doing it over the course of days because i can't just do it in one video it would be a very long video i suppose that's okay but i don't that would take forever to upload wouldn't it so so i guess you might say it's kind of like a face reveal one then because i'm not wearing my mask even though I have in the past done videos of my face. So, as you guys know, so uh, where were we up to last time? I haven't done, like, I've done part, I think I've done, have I done five so far? It's gotta be more than that. <laughs> more than that, I think. I'm sure the last one I named was my, was part five, I think. I'm not like 100% sure, because I lose track of my videos. Especially when I'm doing a series where I'm doing part one, part two, part three, and so on and so forth. So, um, so this is the video where I've changed clothes again and I'm doing like a part six or whatever. So, so not only is it like a special, like, oh, hundred subscriber video, it's also part six or whatever number in my series of talking about my life videos. And for that special, I wear my Jeremiah costume, which is my fursona, as you guys know. So my Therian self is a grey wolf. And my fursona is Jeremiah, the falcon wolf. The blonde falcon wolf. Blonde furred falcon wolf. Golden fluff. And his cute fluff self is fluffers. That would have been him when he was a baby. When he was all fluffy, like a fluffy pup. Which I don't think you guys have seen. I am going to eventually do a video where I show my art. I've done a video like a long time ago, so I'm not sure if it features fluffers. I'd rather do one where I show my coloured art, but I will show you also my sketches. So that's another part of my life, is that I have been doing art since I was three or four, quite young. And I've just done it for fun all these years. And my mum always encouraged me and said, your art's really good. And I always thought my art was like better than other children my age's art at the time. Because they were just doing stick figures. So I believed that my art was like the best. So I stuck with it. 
And I've always wanted to do, like, realistic art when I got older. Because I used to see realistic art of people and houses and stuff. And I used to think, oh, I'd love to do that. So one day, I guess, I did it. I never really believed that I would be able to. I thought maybe one day I might be able to, but never really thought. But then one day, I think when I was 18, I did my first realistic portrait of a woman. It was Rihanna. I did first. Because I happened to have a picture of her from a magazine. And I decided, you know what, one day I decided, I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to paint that just to see if I can do it. And I did it, and like everyone was so impressed with it. And my mum encouraged me to send it to Rihanna herself. But I never got really a response back for that at all. So, ew. These were all ways that we were going to kind of get my art out there. So I could become, so I could get discovered as an artist and get more commissions. Even if I didn't become famous for it, I could at least get more, my art out there more so I'd get more commissions, more work. Because that is my job, if you didn't know. I work from home as an artist, but that's not really my main source of income. I am also a carer for my mum full time, so that's why I live with her, and I do get a, a carer's allowance for that. And now I've discovered that I am, I never thought this was possible either, but apparently I am entitled to a carer myself, as in a carer for the carer. That is really cool, I never knew that. I always joked about it. I used to say to my mum, I need a carer. Uh, because I'm, I do struggle sometimes. As in, I've had back problems and hip problems. Usually when I've been walking around too much and doing too much stuff, like bending and stuff, I do get problems with my body, which hasn't been as bad lately. But even so, apparently I'm entitled to a carer, but I used to joke about that. I used to joke about how I need a carer. Like, I the carer, needs a carer, sort of thing. So, but I don't like that to be my identity, you know? Because ever since I was a child, as you guys know from my last, me talking about my life videos, I've always wanted a more prestigious job. Something more impressive. Like, I know technically pe people have sort of said be being a carer is impressive because it's a lot of work and you're taking care of someone, especially your mum. So I suppose it's like a, a, a noble, like, job I guess I don't I don't really know like it's taking care of someone isn't it so I guess it's 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 kind of you know a good job oh, I at the dog training club tonight at the church hall I've just seen someone go through with their dog and I've been hearing dogs bark all day god does this go on all day or something I thought it was just at night who knows I don't know I had a chart of what they did and what they did each day. First time ever. They don't do it. Do you know what? There's like a, a thing next door. Another part of my life. I've always wanted to do certain things, right? I'll tell you about that in a minute. But there's a church hall next door which people hire out to do like classes and event sort of things. You, you know, like, so the dog, they've got like a dog training one, they've got a Zumba class, they've got, or they've had a Slimming World thing, uh, you know, meeting thing, and they've had, um, they've got Pilates, dog training, uh, what was it, oh, karate too, that's two, one day of Friday, karate, I think one's for adults and one's for children though, or it might be mixed, I'm not really sure, but I know they do two a week, for some reason. I've attended the Zumba one, in, in 2018 to 2019, but it was too much for me, i got too sweaty and everything and I can't get sweaty because I'm I've got eczema so it makes me itchy and I get to like doing all this because they do this like this sort of thing and <laughs> after a while of that because it's one dance after the other after the other after the other with barely any breaks so it's like <gasps> and I get really sweaty and this is not good for me because I get all itchy and I get all flustered and I get all achy and painy and stuff so it wasn't really for me it's not strict or rigid, you can, I suppose you can take more of a break and you can skip certain dances, you know, the music bits. You can skip certain ones, I guess. But I don't know, I just couldn't afford it anymore, so I stopped. I stopped mainly due to Covid. But I did start stopping more before then, 
as well. So I would say, I can't attend, because you have to let them know that you can't attend. So I was like, I can't attend, I can't attend, I can't attend. And since it's COVID, I suppose I've just been written off. So I don't need to let them know anymore, I guess. It's a shame, though. I kind of, en I enjoyed it to a point. Like, in the beginning, it was really great, because everyone was so friendly and stuff. And for me, it was like, just a small amount of people. And, you know, we chatted and everything. But as it got bigger and bigger and bigger... It wasn't as intimate and sort of familiar anymore. And he had like, at the end of it, they had like chats and people would just like go off in groups. So they have like groups dotted around. And of course, as usual, because I've experienced this ever since I was a child, I'm always sort of left out, okay? And even if I try to, because most people be like, oh, why don't you just join in then? And I'm like, I tried to. <laughs> I've tried to, to sort of join in with things like, you know, chats and stuff. But I usually I find I'm not listened to, they don't listen to me. Nobody bothers to sort of reply to what I say or acknowledge what I've said. So I, I kinda give up and I kinda feel just stupid. I felt like stupid standing around like a lemon. So when the when the dance classes were over officially, instead of sticking around to chat like I used to do like everybody else does. I just say, right, I'm going now. And if I haven't paid, I will pay up. If I have paid in the beginning, because she's not super strict about it. So if I have to pay afterwards, I'll I'll sort of flag her down to pay her, the instructor per the person. But if I've already paid, I'll probably just like say, right, I'm going, and then just like slip out, not really make a big deal out of it. But I suppose you have to let them know. So I'm just like, right, I'm going. I don't think anybody really care. No, remember that episode, not that anybody cares. Remember those goths. There is the one friend, and then this one friend that goes, I'm such a body, not that anybody cares. <laughs> yeah, I'm so that person. As in, nobody really cares. Not that I'm cynical, but it's like true. I've always like felt significant in groups of people ever since I was a kid. Again, that's part of my life, so I'm talking about my life. Just like the Zumba thing was part of my life for a bit. But other than that, they've not done anything else that I'm interested in next door. And it kind of sucks. Because it's just there. So I did, don't have to go too far from my mum. And if she needs me, if she has a fall or, or anything, anything happens, all she has to do is call me or text me and I can just, I can just go around here and I'm here. Because it's right next door. Heck, there used to be a like a little thing over there where I could just climb over my own wall but I can't do that anymore, it's been fixed. So I do have to go around there and up up the drive. Look, I'll show you. Down there, and up here. But it's still not too far, so not too bad. Ta da So yeah. So it'd be dead good if they had like other things. So here I'm gonna tell you now about the things I would be interested in going to if they had them there. So one of them is dance classes. Actual dance classes, not the Zumba, because that's not... I wouldn't say that was really a class, because they don't really... They're not, like, serious about teaching you the dances. It's just an exercise thing, and it's like, anything goes. You just have to, like, copy them. They don't... The, the instructor doesn't sort of go to each individual member and say do this instead you know you're not doing this right you should do it this way like they do in proper classes so i would be interested in doing specific dance classes like ballet tap and other kinds of dance too it would be nice if they had dance classes because i've always liked that kind of thing and i always get dead impressed when people dance and i always think oh i'd love to dance like that it looks so fun and it looks like, you know, they have like a lot of energy and they're very limber and they just look so elegant and nice. And I just look shit when I dance. <laughs> I can dance. I think I have the potential to. I just don't know really any dance moves. Probably, I did start to sort of practice on my own. I'd, I'd watch dance classes on YouTube, dance videos, and then I would try and copy them. But I'm not really sure if I'm, I was that good. But I just kind of do it on and off. Whereas if I went to proper dance classes, I'd probably stick to it more because I'm kind of more in it, if you know what I mean. Doing anything on my own, it's been hard to sort of stay focused and motivated. But if I went to a class, it would be it might 
make me focus more. It's like with these videos, I've done these videos for this channel on and off. I've had this channel, I don't know, how it's been like three years now, I think. And it's been kind of, I had a time when I sort of uploaded sort of regularly, then I stopped for a while, then I started again last year. And then I stopped for a while. You from It was over winter, I think I stopped. But now that it's like warmer weather and I could do videos outside, which I prefer to do, I'm back doing it again. And also got motivation back for like dressing up and stuff. Like I say, I went, during winter, I don't really feel like doing videos or dressing up or anything. Or doing my theory and stuff because it's too cold and I just don't feel like doing anything. I don't even bother with my makeup that much, which is another thing I love to do. That's another passion thing that I love to do. I love doing makeup because I like to look good. I like dressing up because I like to look good. I like my hair. I like doing stuff with my hair. Which you don't see me doing much of because I have no clue what to do with my hair. Because I'm not really very imaginative with my hair, I guess. I just can't be bothered doing anything with my hair other than back combing it and stuff. So I'll do that. Or I might put wigs on or something. One of these days I'm going to do a video for you guys, dressing up my gothic stuff. Like, all of it. Like, the, the black wig, the ears, the gothic makeup, like, scene emo sort of makeup. Like, scene emo or gothic clothes, you know, I'm going to do, like, a proper one of those kind of videos. Of course, with my tail and ears. And I mainly do videos now with this tail because I love it. It's my favourite. I've not worn that for a while. But then when I watch my videos back, because that's another thing that motivates me, is watching the videos from the past, and it makes me want to do it again. It. So, yeah. So I kind of look at my videos and think, wow, I look really good in that outfit, or I look really good in my tail and ears, so I want to do it again, I want to do it again. And I think, well, I may as well, because they're bomb. Unlike my fursuit legs, who I really don't want to wear them because they're just, they don't look very good, I don't think. And they don't feel comfortable. But I feel super guilty because I bought them. I was so excited for them and, you know, I spent a lot of money on them, regrettably. God, my first, buying my first fursuit legs ever and it was a scam. And also a mistake going with a, a US fursuit maker as well. Because of shipping. And they don't even have a tail hole. Like, fursuit, uh, fursuit legs are supposed to have a tail hole. This one doesn't. The instructions said it did, but I looked everywhere. There was no tail hole. No belt loop hole. Nothing. And then you have, you have to buy your own stuffing. I, I, you know what? I will do a separate video about the fursuit stuff. So it's getting to be a long video now. So I'm going to stop it, making an exception because it's like the special video, my 100 subscriber video. So the next one will be a, like a part 2 of the 100 subscriber video, and then I guess a part 7 of talking about my life series. So it's kind of a combination video, and also a crossover. So it'll be part 2 of a 100 video special, I guess. But I will talk, as, as a special, I'll talk more about my channel and the, th the theory and the furry stuff, as in experience with my channel and stuff like that, if you know what I mean. So talking about when I cre created it and all this sort of stuff and motivation and how much I find it a lot of fun. And also talking about some people who have asked me a question as well about the crazy, as they put it. Okay, see you in the next one. Don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.